Hello, Dinky Dana here. Today I'm going to be reviewing a game called Shadow Complex for the Xbox 360. It's available for download on the Xbox Live Arcade for 1200 Microsoft points. The game is based on the Orson Scott Card novel called Empire, and the game's script is written by comic book writer and Star Trek novelist Peter David. Shadow Complex is based on games like Super Metroid and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. The game creators stated that they did this because they consider games like Super Metroid to be the pinnacle of 2D game design. If you've ever played Super Metroid or Symphony of the Night, you know that this definitely is not a bad thing. Even though this game basically copies a lot of the game design ideas from these previous games, it definitely adds more than enough to make it its own unique game. It's presented in widescreen 720p resolution, and honestly I think it's the nicest looking side scroller I've ever played. Shadow Complex has many interesting features, but there's one feature in particular that I found completely innovative and it just takes 2D side scrollers to a completely new level. Shadow Complex managed to merge its 2D gameplay with its 3D environments in a way that I've never seen before. It did this by using an interesting control scheme where the left analog moves you left and right on the screen and your right analog is what you use to aim. It's a moderately difficult control scheme for me to explain in a review, but I'm going to do my best and whenever you have the controller in your hand, it takes a little bit in the beginning of the game but once you pick it up, it works really well. The best way for me to explain the controls for aiming in Shadow Complex is to have you imagine that there's an invisible clock superimposed on the screen. So let's say there's an enemy above and to the right of you at approximately the 1 to 2 o'clock direction. You take your right analog stick and you aim it to the 1 or 2 o'clock direction and it'll hit your target. You can do this for the full 360 degree range which also corresponds to any direction on the imaginary clock. So that's simple enough but what makes it different than any other side-scroller you've played before? And that's where Shadow Complex came in with an innovative idea that really puts their game a step above the rest. What happens is there will be enemies in the foreground and background of the environment and since you can only move left and right you're, there's no way for you to be able to reach them. So there might be an enemy 20 feet deep into the background and he's shooting at you but you can't move back into the background to be able to get to him. So that's where the imaginary clock comes in handy for me to explain how this works. Let's say the enemy's 20 feet in the background, but he still shows up at the 2 o'clock direction on the imaginary clock. If you want to hit that target, you use your analog stick and aim it to the 2 o'clock direction, and your character will actually shoot into the background of the game. So even though that you can only move in a 2D plane, you're able to attack all the enemies that are coming from the background, the foreground, in a full three-dimensional environment. And after you finish playing Shadow Complex, you'll realize how exciting and fun this new in-depth and innovative system really is. And I strongly encourage every retro gamer out there to give this game a shot, go out and download it, because I'm pretty sure that you'll no longer say that there are no hardcore retro style games on the new systems. This is a $15 Xbox Live Arcade game, but even if I had paid $60 for this game, I definitely wouldn't have been disappointed. I've had a lot more fun with this game than a lot of games that I've paid $60 for out of the store. And even though the game can be completed between 6 to 10 hours on the first playthrough, it's a game that you're going to want to go back and play and also it, you'll put a lot of hours in exploring the whole map and finding all the items that are available. I really can't express enough how much I think retro gamers will enjoy this game but I mean all modern gamers are going to enjoy it I think retro gamers are just going to really appreciate it because we've been looking for a game like this for a long time. So to explain a little bit more about how this game works if you haven't played Super Metroid basically you move from left to right and up and down and you travel a whole map. You're exploring a military complex and basically you try and move the whole way around the map and explore all the areas of the complex. So in the beginning of the game 
you don't have tons of items or abilities so they give you an objective and what's nice about in this game it'll show up as a blue line on the map so that's the direction that you have to go in order to complete your first mission and on the way on that mission there might be areas that you can't reach or you can't get to yet and you have to complete the missions in order and as you complete missions you get more items and abilities and then you can explore the areas that you previously couldn't it has some really addictive gameplay and it also has some really fun bosses I really enjoyed almost all the bosses in this game another thing that I really enjoyed about Shadow Complex is its environments you don't just travel just in a military base there'll be some areas where you'll be traveling through forests caves with waterfalls you swim underwater it's got a lot of different atmospheres that really add to the depth of the game I really tried to come up with some complaints that I'd have for this game and I just really couldn't come up with any there are two things however that I think could have been improved upon a little bit the first is the music I really like the music and I think they used it at the right times I just wish that there was more of it it's not really a complaint by any means but it's just something that I thought they could have improved on a little there were a few times whenever I would be playing through a really exciting part and I just wish there was a lot more music to go along with it the next thing is the story I don't really have any complaints about it I just think it could have been improved upon and been a little bit more in depth I was going to give this game a score of 9.5 since the story could have been a little bit better but I decided to give it a 10 because I'm a retro gamer and it really made me feel like I was playing a retro game brought onto the new consoles and I've been really looking for that and this is the first game that really gave me that feeling whenever I was playing through it. So that's my final score. I'm going to give Shadow Complex a score of 10 out of 10. I'm Dinky Dana and that's my review for Shadow Complex on the Xbox 360. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed this review and thanks for watching.